your fun. I think the problem was like making sure it doesn't taste like shit when it's going yeah. down because right? like the capsule can open up. You have to just mix it with sugar and then you got right. other problems. <laughs> right. <laughs> a spoonful of sugar <laughs> makes the poop go down. I know. It's yeah. it's it's crazy. What do you think about stevia? St- like so the stevia, um, there's it's it's a non nutritive sweetener. So it's not like it's not like uh, aspartame or saccharin or what's the other one? Sucralose. Yeah. Which by the way, those have all been shown to like screw up the microbiome. Yeah, those are really bad. Yeah, they like change the By the way, bacteria. Diet Coke is what the president drinks 12 cans a day of. What? Yes. No wonder why he's making shit decisions. 12? Are, are you serious? Tw- yes. So- New York Times story. They said that he drinks 12 cans of Diet Coke a day and watches as much as eight hours of television a day. So he's 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 literally like a test monkey. <laughs> Is that really true? Yes. yes. No, that's crazy. It's really true. See if you can find that article. Yeah, yeah. 12 so cans the, of Diet There it is. Trump reportedly drinks 12 cans of Diet Coke. It looks like you're using an, using an ad blocker. What's the main um, the main sweetener in Diet Coke? Aspartame, I think. Is it aspartame? Yeah. Trump drinks di- 12 Diet Cokes per day. What can that do to a person's body? And then they have a scientist on <laughs> We're well, fucked. I'll tell you what it does to the microbiome. It like changes the composition so that you're like you're you're getting the kind of bacteria that are really good at harvesting the glucose from from like the small intestine area, and it makes people like become obese. Like that's the associative studies in people. Like that they've shown that in people, and then of course they've done causal studies in animals showing that. But stevia is interesting because. Um, I've seen positive studies with that where it seems to like improve insulin sensitivity, which is kind of weird. It is um, weird. I I personally am always um, I, I I'll use stevia like if I'm like gonna let's make some hot cocoa with 100% cocoa and it just tastes like ass and like I need some stevia right. in here. It's like otherwise you're just doing a shot of it like yeah, whiskey that style. Yeah, nasty. Hot cocoa with no sugar is yeah, rough. Yeah, 100% cocoa. Yeah, where cacao. It's no, yeah, cacao. Yeah. There's all sorts of benefits with that too but but yeah, with this, I don't really use a lot of stevia. Like my, my in-laws, they, they like to put it in their smoothies because I've gotten so used to my smoothies tasting Kaylee mm. that I guess, you know, and and plus I don't eat any, anything sweet, so I don't really need it, but they like to put it in their smoothies and, right. you know, I don't, I don't know if it has any, we haven't really seen negative health consequences with the exception. I think there was one study in rats where they gave them like exceptional amounts and it like changed the, the hormonal profile or something. So I didn't consume any during pregnancy because I was worried about right. that. But um, Well, don't be a rat. You'd be fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> study study but now, i think that's probably my my choice if i were to sweeten something like put my put it in my coffee or something i'd put stevia well, trump is grossly overweight you know yeah that's so the microbiome what's funny is that people t- taking diet coke are trying are, are trying to like improve they don't they you know they don't want the refined sugar yeah they don't want to have the the constant insulin response and so they're drinking the diet coke it's kind of ironic that it's like it's like making them more be- obese by changing the gut microbiome now, is is it safe to drink just one can every now and again, or is it just I'm something you should? I'm totally sure one avoid? can every now and then's okay. You right. know, it's not. I mean, that's not going to like completely. Now, twelve cans a day, or even one can a day, you're constantly going to start your microbiome. You're constantly going to keep shifting it in towards. You know, really, the, the, even one can a day. Probably, yeah, wow. because it's the I microbiome guess, yeah. is. Yeah, I like yeah. the way it tastes, though. Mm. I diet do, Coke. I do enjoy a Diet Coke. I haven't had Diet Coke. Had it's like yesterday. 2006. I had one yesterday in a hotel. Cracked it open. Really? It. Yeah, I haven't. I really cold. haven't had one since 2006. It's cold. Yeah. I, like I used it. to drink them. I used to drink them um, when uh, for like in college and stuff to stay awake and study for mm. exams and all that. But if you're taking something like that, um, should you take a corresponding like some sort of a probiotic to try to combat that? I mean, the problem with that is you know the probiotics. Which, by the way, there's all sorts of interesting studies that have shown effectiveness of certain probiotics that are, you know, have a lot of, um, that have live bacteria and a lot of them. But, you know, in order for the probiotics to work, you either have to constantly take them or there needs to be space in your gut for them to take residence in, right? So if you're like filling your body with all sorts of sugar or Diet Coke and all this, then 
where where is the probiotic that you, you're taking in going to attach, right? Right, right? So it's kind of flow through, and the flow through has benefits, but you have to keep taking it, right. you know, f- for that for that to happen. And so the so really a healthy diet's the way. It's not you can't just counteract with supplementation. A healthy a healthy diet's the way, meaning you know the 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 fermentable fiber, which is what helps grow helps the 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 commensal and good bacteria basically grow and thrive. But um, probiotics helped me a lot. Like after I had some, I had some gut issues from from stress with uh, graduate sc- graduate school, and so that definitely um, helped me. And um, I don't, I I take them once in a while now, like you know, but I don't, I don't take them every day like I did, you know, when I was like trying to like heal myself. Um, and and the one I was taking, I think we've talked about, was, yeah. was four hundred and fifty billion. It's called VSL number three. But now there's another company called VisBiome that is like the guy who made Vis- VSL number three is doing this biome biome make the same formulation i've tried it out as well um but it's like a little cheaper and i don't have any affiliation with either of those companies but there's been clinical t- clinical studies with both of them showing effectiveness and so um it's it's certainly an, an interesting um field growing field and there have been some clinical studies in humans where for example the one that's super interesting uh, the brain, the brain stuff, the way it's affecting the brain is interesting. And there's clinical studies. There was one recent one, I think I tweeted, where there was like ten randomized controlled trials. They weren't really high quality, but it's a start, and it like improved um, measures of anxiety in people. Other studies have shown ex- randomized controlled trials. Have been a couple others showing it improves depression scores and also in cognition. So there's, you know, again, the immune system modulation of the immune system will affect the brain. Immune system it definitely is, you know, basically inflammatory factors and things like that can cross over to the to blood brain barrier and get in the brain and disrupt neurotransmitter um, production and all sorts of stuff. But also the gut brain access, the vagal nerve, where like you can make certain things that are like if you if you have certain t- bacteria in the gut that are making, for example, GABA, that can like stimulate the nerve. In, in inhibitory way that like calms and, and does something calming to the to the to the brain part we don't really understand all the mechanisms it's just fascinating field that i'm like trying to follow and keep up on you know but i mean the question is do do normal healthy people need to take probiotics all the time and i don't know the answer but i do think that we need to to eat the right foods to to get our microbiome healthy and avoid things like you know what's it called aspartame yeah uh, aspartame nutra sweet all that, that's the same stuff, right? That's NutraSweet's aspartame. Yeah, I think, I think it is. Yeah. The, the blue packet. Yeah. Yeah. 